Hey guys, Jeremy here with Full of Sit. Desi here with Highway to Heal, and today we're going to get you guys started on muzzle training. That's right. Teach your dog to wear a mask too. <laughs> but for in all seriousness, <laughs> why do we muzzle train? <laughs> Why? Your dog wear a muzzle. Okay, there's a lot of different reasons. Some people don't like their dogs picking stuff up off the ground that they shouldn't. And in my case with Mr. Reckless is he has a little nervousness around new people. And I would rather have him already accustomed to a muzzle rather than taking him to the vet's office and they go, oh, he's scared, let's muzzle him. Then he's even more scared. So I would not like to have a negative association with a muzzle in the event that I need it your dog could be injured. Um, they're very bitey when they're in pain. We don't want them biting our vet staff or other people. Um, a lot of people will muzzle train when they're working through some reactivity issues, yep. right? So keep the other dog safe, right? Set them up for success. Hey dude. So Rick I look at sit. a muzzle as like one of those things that I train my dogs to wear it. I get them accustomed to wearing one so they're used to wearing it. And then most of the time they never see it again except for within maybe one or two different situations. But it, it's one of those things that it's always best to have a dog that's used to wearing it in case you do need it. Because most of the time when uh, when you have a dog that people are trying to put a muzzle on. They don't want to uh, wear one. It's not the best time to be trying to teach your dog to wear a muzzle. Exactly. Um, he can be a little nervous around new people. So having a new person, which would be our vet staff, or a groomer coming in and stuffing a muzzle on his face, well, it's already not comfortable for the dogs. They usually don't start off loving it. They're not used to things being on their face. So now we've just made a nervous situation even worse. So I would prefer to just have him already used to it and hand him off already wearing it. Yep. All right, so now that we kind of covered like why I might want my dog to wear a muzzle, what if, what if they don't like wearing a muzzle? Like how do I get them to, to wear a muzzle? So that's how we're gonna get you guys started. Um, first thing what I'll do is I'll start adding value to the dog, just putting their face in it. Um, again, it's gonna be pressing down on their snout, it's around their face. It's just awkward for them to wear in the beginning. It's not painful, it shouldn't be. You're probably have the wrong size if it is. So what I wanna do is change his perceptive perception of wearing this by adding some value to that and I just use food. Reckless, sit. So I'm gonna hold that out of the way. Show him that I've got some food in here. Rick. And see if I can get him. Yes, buddy. Oh, that's a little long. <laughs> okay, but he's working <laughs> out the treats and that's what we want. Great. Good boy. And Desi's using a basket muzzle. Uh, they make also, if, if you have a hard time getting the dog to stick their nose in the muzzle, uh, or food falling through the holes in a basket muzzle or whatever. They make a, a training muzzle that's specifically designed for teaching your dog to wear a muzzle. Good job, buddy. And it's a solid muzzle that has a hole cut in the end of it. So you can slide it on your dog's face and then poke a piece of food, food. through the hole in the end of the muzzle. So it would kind of be like and if I were to do that with this one. Right. Smell it. You don't use your hands to help me. <laughs> But it is a little difficult with the basket muzzle. Um, <laughs> and if he wants to help, sit. Good boy. So mainly I just want to get him used to willingly putting his face in it on his own. No, not your foot. Not your foot. <laughs> He's a mess, Jeremy. He is. Good job, buddy. So something for us to work on. Um, if I had like pieces of boiled chicken or something, it'd be a little easier than these little tiny treats that I've got. But basically I just put the food in there. I've got my hand on the bottom to hold on to it. Or like Jeremy said, try a different style of muzzle if it's awkward, because this is a little awkward. And I'm gonna hold the strap out of the way so it's not smacking him in the face. And I just kind of make a little bowl right there and put some food in it and get him willingly putting his face in. In his case, he's a problem solver and thinks if he smacks it out of my hand, he can get the food faster. So we gotta work on that. I and mean, if he hits it with his foot and 
knocks the food through the holes in the mud. He just won. <laughs> he, he just picked it up off the ground. He then just he, won. Then he, then he gets food and he doesn't have to stick his face in the muzzle. Yep, so just think about what, you're, what kind of treats you're going to be using, um, what kind of muzzle is going to be less complicated for you. This is kind of more complicated to start training on. Uh, but the goal is just to get him used to putting their face in it, used to putting their face in it. He's never actually done this before, so I didn't expect it to go seamlessly. Um, and then eventually we want to start strapping it on, right? Mm -hmm. We can't just sit here and hold it like this if we're dropping him off. So that's another thing you kind of have to do slow with some dogs. Yeah. They really um, don't like things around the back of their head. The, this is one of those things, so kind of piggybacking off of the clicker video that we just did. A muzzle is one of those things that if I have to, I'm going to use a clicker to mark. So I want my dog to understand the marker first. I want them to really understand what a clicker is. And then if I have a basket muzzle, which is what I use, I actually will hold the muzzle up to the dog's face and uh, try to get them to just stick the tip of their nose in the muzzle. And if they do, then I click and I pull the muzzle away and I hand them a piece of food. Um, that's one scenario where, again, a clicker comes in handy because at first maybe the dog is just bumping the barely inside rim of the muzzle with their nose, uh, and that allows us to capture that behavior pretty quickly before they can pull their nose back out, ideally. Yeah, it's a good way to shape it if they're hesitant on putting yep. their face in. You start off just accepting their nose touching it, and then you ask for a little more and a little more and a little more. Um, he's not really worried about sticking his face in things, so yeah. we don't have to go too slow with him. But if I had a more fearful dog, we would, we would take baby steps, yep. right? And like Jeremy said, a clicker would be great for that because it's so instant when you're capturing it. So once you get the muzzle on and you get the uh, buckle secured, now what? Start adding duration. Yeah, so we, right? uh, we teach the dog to stick their nose in the muzzle and then like keep it in there until we say free or we click or yes or whatever our, our marker happens to be. Um, and like Desi was saying, the next step is, is getting that, the straps on them fastened around the dog's head. And that, sometimes that in itself freaks a lot of dogs out because maybe they're okay with sticking their nose in the muzzle to get food. But then when we all of a sudden Start strap it to their head, their head. I'm like, whoa, yep. <laughs> the yep. rules of the game just changed, right? Yep. I've got a dog in training right now who really doesn't like having her head touched behind her ears. So it's been a real struggle getting her comfortable with the muzzle. Um, and once it's on, she's fine. Our struggle was, and still kind of is, she's very hesitant. Our struggle with her is just actually strapping it. So you might find different obstacles with your dog, or you might get lucky and have a dog that just really doesn't care and is just happy that you're interacting with them. And that's kind of a unicorn. Those are, those are pretty rare unless I think you're Sammy. Yeah. <laughs> and and the, the good thing about this is there's not a lot really that goes into conditioning your dog to wear a muzzle. I mean, you yep. get them used to sticking their nose in there and then you get them used to kind of holding their nose in there and hanging out in the muzzle for a little while and then you get them used to having the straps strapped around their head and usually after that, like, yep, that's it. <laughs> you're, you're keeping the muzzle on until I say okay and I take it off. Yep, and if you have a dog who wants to then start pawing at it to get it off, you can do a couple of different things. You can go back to just having them hold their face in it for duration and not actually strapping it, and you can be rewarding that. Um, or for some dogs, it helps to get them moving. So you just kind of have to figure out what works for your dog. If taking them on a quick walk around distracts them from it, great. If not, you might have to go back to just getting them to leave their head in it for a little bit longer and get used to having that feeling on their face. So you've got to figure out what works for you and your dog. Yep. Well, the way that I, I like doing it is I get my dog to moving. Um, like Drake, he, he muzzle trained pretty quickly. He's a nice, confident dog. He didn't have any problems like sticking his nose in the muzzle or anything like that. But he was one of those dogs that after it was on for five minutes, he wanted to start trying to paw at it a little bit to take it off. And my solution to that was just make him walk. Like, come on, we're going to go walk. And uh, I, I would literally put a muzzle on him and walk him around, and we would do some obedience in muzzle. So he got used to wearing it for extended periods of time. Uh, yeah, you kind of distract him from it, have yeah. him do something else. And, and it's like anything else, you know, harnesses or collars or whatever. If you keep it on the dog long enough, eventually they're going to get used to the sensation of having it on, and then it's not going to bother them. Yeah, it's kind of like if you've never worn a watch your whole life and now all of a sudden you're wearing yeah. one, you're going to be very aware that right. it's there for a while. Yeah. 
things that might be uncomfortable for you. Or if you're like me and you've worn a watch almost your whole life and you take it off and leave it laying somewhere and you walk around and... Feel, you feel weird. <laughs> I'm missing something. What you the heck like am I part, missing? Like you're missing a whole limb. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's it. Just take your time. Make sure that it's a really, really rewarding experience for your dog so that we're not creating more aversion to it. Um, and even once they've gotten started on it and once they're good at it, you know, you're going to want to keep them fresh with it because just like us, we kind of need to be reminded of things sometimes that we yep. learned a while, a while back. So with Reckless, um, for a while, I have a feeling he's going to be hard to muzzle train, um, super willingly cause he's kind of not liking it, but, um, I would probably be getting him used to it a little at a time every day and then probably reminding him about it once a week for a while. So this is one of those things that, you know, you, you're not really going to force many dogs to wear a muzzle and, and have them like it. It's one of those things that, you know, there's not a lot of steps to teaching a dog to wear a muzzle. But uh, you can't rush it. But it's one of those things that can take a while. Yep, so. you definitely can't rush it. Um, you can't force it. You really, really have to make it something super positive for the dog. It makes it easier for them to be handled down the road. Yep. All right, guys, I guess that's it for muzzle training. Yeah, muzzle Maybe training we'll update when he's figured it out and the next muzzle video quits trying to paw at it <laughs> the next muzzle video we do he'll be wearing the the bright green yeah muzzle. his bright green he'll be rocking it yep all right guys Can i guess that's it stunner? all right yep that's it we'll wear give us a like share uh, let bell, us know what your subscribe. experiences are if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video give make it a sure thumbs you hit up that anyway. thumbs down two times <laughs> all right all right that's it cool see ya adios